quickly. Uh, I just swam, and but she stayed on a float. Um, anyway. This Catherine. is my cousin, Izzy B. I actually think I have to go to the barn tomorrow for a remake lesson because my trainer got sick on Thursday and today's Friday, so yesterday. Yeah. So I have to text my trainer about that, but that's really about it. Okay, After will... this, we might ride the golf cart. And I even like that. By the way, her horseback riding is technically our neighbor, so yeah. <laughs> they live behind the barn. Actually, yeah. I don't think I told you this. I'm changing barns. I'm are. going to a new one. But so. I'll be getting some jumpers in. They have a lot of OTTBs and they breed German Shepherds. So it's all baby shepherds around. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Just want to catch yeah, up. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Hi guys, we're in the golf cart. This is Izzy. Where do you want to go? Uh, I don't really care. Just finished coloring. Oh, I don't want to take that turn. I'm glad no one's out. Not a lot of cars are out. So. There's Disney a lot chance. of people. There's like, I saw one I saw one person. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 can like working on something? Put it in park. What? I do that all the time. Instead of breaking, I'll accidentally put it in park. It's weird. Yeah. It's really weird and we don't really like it that much. So, fine. Bye. Okay. 8, 18, which is early for me. And I'm heading into the barn for an early barn day. It's gonna ride a little bit. Um, and Izzy's gonna come on. <laughs> I am back from the barn and kind of wanted to tell you everything that happened since this is more of a um, this is more of an equestrian channel than just a pleasure channel um, I thought I'd kind of tell you all the ins and outs because I think it was kind of confusing watching um, I went through three horses today that sounds terrible I went through three horses I I hopped on three horses today the first one was Mac well Technically, I didn't hop on him. The whole thing with Mac, um, I usually jump him because he just loves to jump and he's amazing at it. And I usually just, you know, work on him. He's a lesson horse. I usually just work on him for um, the little kids because he does get fast sometimes and he does. Sometimes he takes his time at the jump and it's like in between obviously and um as soon as he he just gets his steps wrong and as soon as he goes up for the approach like to go over he it's like a big leap and it throws a lot of um little kids off and so I've been working on him getting that you know done helping him not take his time and making it easier for um you know the other lesson um takers <laughs> the rest of the people who ride him because he is a lesson horse um and then I hopped on Peanut as you saw um I love Peanut he's amazing he just can be a little slow sometimes and not willing to work and so I hopped on him and that transition I don't know if y'all saw it but it was beautiful um, obviously these are all not my horses um, these are all lesson horses, so I can't do positive reinforcement on them as much as I would love to. I can't. It's just, it wouldn't go well. It would 
hurt the horse in the long run instead of help. So I go as easy as I can and literally just, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could do so much more, but I really can't. Got on Peanut, and then my trainer was like, Hey, um, I got this OTTB. Well, I don't know if it's an OTTB or not, actually, to be honest. She just said thoroughbred, but he acts like an OTTB. Just saying. If y'all don't know what OTTB means, OTTB means off the track thoroughbred. Um, they could be off the track doesn't mean they actually like raced. It could be they were just breeded to, and, you know, in the training process, it didn't work out. But he definitely was a hothead. And um, one thing from him, going from school horses to thoroughbreds like that, um, it was actually really beneficial. Is that a word? Um, but you kind of just have to really get on them, and it hurts my heart. But it's either that or I completely scotch them and train them again and I can't do that it's not mine um so anyway yeah it's it's a whole ordeal um but I feel like some of you guys get me out there who um ride at a barn and don't have your own horse and want to do positive reinforcement it's very um it can be very nerve-wracking sometimes um anyway so she said hey I got this really hot thoroughbred you want to help me and I was like, um, yes, I will, please, thank you. <laughs> and um, anyway, got on him, and to the start, so he, horse has filled with a lot of anxiety. Um, my trainer, not my trainer, my, the barn owner um, actually found him out there two days ago in the pasture hyperventilating and had a call to vet, like it was bad and he was just out in the pasture so we don't really know what's going on obviously he has some type of anxiety going on and um hopefully my trainer or my barn owner will get on that and we'll get the vet out and see if he can't take a supplement or something that will at least calm him down and i mean i just don't want him to pass out in the pasture because that'd be terrible i honestly love him to death his name is ops um anyway so hopped on him and to the start of it, I was kind of a, a little nervous, but nervous under control. Um, and then I got on him and I like broke him back down and I reset my mind frame because he, whatever you're thinking, he's thinking times 11. So transitioning my brain to be like, okay, I need to calm down. I need to, you know, slow my breathing. And he slowed his breathing. It was actually really cool to... Um, see because I usually the horses I train are like school horses who like you know are biting or bucking or you know who can't jump <laughs> I appreciated every single minute of that and honestly he was very very fun to ride he was really nice one thing I did have to not get at him for but like focus on and make sure we took our time is because as soon as I asked him for the trot um transitioning from going from peanut to going from ops was such a tr transition and when I asked for the trot he went out and galloped and you know whatever and I had to break him down and be like okay it's fine we're just trotting and he he likes to be talked to a lot especially I feel like I found that like with horses with anxiety you can you know you can slow them down with the reins you can ease your leg you can you know do a lot of things but I found if you talk to them and say, hey, easy, whoa, you got it, you know, good boy. And that reassurance really helped, like, tremendously. Um, and we use that in our plus star training. Um, you know, when the horse does something right, you, good boy, you know, whatever, click treat. And it's that reinforcing. I found even with non-plus R horses that you can still reinforce them with your words. And you can still, um, you know comment comment R affirm affirm their affirmations um you can still affirm them and tell them what a good job they're doing because no they don't speak english but they speak your language if that makes sense they they feel your vibes they feel your energy and it's it's honestly 
amazing. But yes, that was about it. Um, I took him over some jumps. He did great. He just had to be collected and calmed. And yeah, that was really it. Um, I didn't get a lot of footage because my cousin was filming. <laughs> and she left shortly after to go to her house, which is right behind the barn. But she loved it. I She said she wanted to take this lesson now. We'll see how long that lasts. But that'd be honestly really cool. I think that's it. Oh, I did not get to do cross country on Mac. I don't know if I said that before, but that was my intention was to jump Mac in the arena, get him done, and then go out in the field and do some cross country. Did not happen. Which I was kind of here for. Um, less work I have to do. And then, then I hopped on the thoroughbred and I was like, yeah, okay. Um, but yes, that is all. Um, thank you guys for watching if you did watch i'm trying to speak here thank you it's rude anyway that's really about it i think i'm gonna hop in the pool and float around for a while because i need a little post um post lesson cool down um anyway want to catch all up on that so yeah I'll have a great rest of your day, or your night, or your evening, or your morning, whenever you are watching this, and I'll see you maybe later.